Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this is the tarot deck review video. So we'll be comparing the love and relationship tarot with the rider weight uh, tarot. Okay, so both have 78 cards, but this is more to do with the love and relationship. So it has keywords down extra keywords where you you can see this it has extra keywords here so it is it indicates the love and relationship the emotion part of your life okay and the normal tarot the right away tarot it, it has only the name of the card and the number okay so that's the difference here so if you want to see how to purchase this and uh, the review of this deck then you can go to my playlist and you can check out under the oracle card uh, review deck okay sorry the under the oracle card uh, and tarot card review videos you can just check it out there so let's go one by one so i've already arranged it in order so the first we have the fool card so you can see how the fool card is here so this says new uh, new and adventurous love and then the magician is charismatic and randomous love The High Priestess is Seductive and Passionate Love. The Empress is Compatible and Sensual Love. The Emperor is Rational and Level-Headed Love. Okay, if you want to see the cards in detail, just pause the video and you can take a look at it. I'll just go a little fast because there are so many cards. I don't want to extend the video. Then we have the Hierophant which is Sincere and Modest Love. We have the Lovers which is Affectionated and Committed Love. We have the Chariot which is Determined and Successful Love. So if you are wondering from where I am reading it, I am reading it from here. So it has an extra keyword below the cards. Okay. So next we have strength, controlled and dominated love. The hermite, uh, introspection and self-love. The wheel, fortunate and exciting love. Justice, fair and deserving love. The Hanged Man, Stagnation and Modification, Death, Miserable Changes and Endings, Temperance, Balanced and Blissful Love, The Devil, Extrapent and Negative Patterns, Extrament and negative pattern, sorry. The tower, breakup and true revelation. The star, regenerated and healed love. The moon, hidden and uncertain love. The sun, long-term and harmonious love. The judgment, challenging and karmic love. The world, dream come true. Yes, now we are going to the, we finished the mega, major arcana cards. Okay. So now we are getting into the suits which are the minor arcanas. So the first suit we have here is swords. So ace of swords, challenging and thinkable love. These cards are actually very rare. It's very good for love prediction. Like what kind of partner will you get in future or um, what is the current situation in my relationship? What we need to change or what is going on? All those things, okay? These are really good for that. So I use it mostly for all those kind of, uh, you know, those topic videos. So you can watch my videos. And then we have two of swords, resentment and denial. 
थ्री ऑफ स्वर्ड्स डीप इशूज एंड लव ट्राइंगल फोर ऑफ स्वर्ड्स मेंटल ओवरलोड मेंटल ओवरलोड एंड रिकपरेशन रिकपरेशन I think it's recuperation. Yeah, mental load and recuperation. I don't know how do you pronounce it, but yeah. And then we have five of swords, which is disputes and sabotaging. Six of swords, overcoming and moving forward. Seven of swords, unfaithful and manipulative love. Eight of Swords, blocked and uh, sorry, bat and victimized law, bat and victimized law. Nine of Swords, isolated and regretful law. Ten of Swords, betrayal and breakdown in love. Now we are. into the court cards the royal family which is king of swords honest and disciplined love queen of swords uh independent and reserved love it's really tiny that's why i have to read it like i'll have to see it properly and read it and there are a lot of spelling mistakes and certain you know uh, words are not that clear on this card the keywords and all there are a lot of spelling mistakes as well so but otherwise this these cards are really good very good you can use it for so many different things you know not only for love and relationship you can use it as a normal tarot deck if you are very thorough with your tar tarot king of swords sorry knight of swords impatient and confused love Page of Swords, curious and inspirational love. So curious and inspiring love. Now we are coming to Wands. So Ace of Wands, spontaneous and intense love. Two of Wands, attraction and new spark. Three of Wands. exploring and boundless love four of wands blissful and accomplished love five of wands clashes and disagreements six of wands uh oh, victor victorious and stable love seven of wands defensive and assertive love eight of wands um infatuation infatuation and obsessed love nine of wands agitated and wounded love ten of wands overburdened and struggling love so the different types the keywords you know they have different types of love here now we are coming to the um, the court cards the king of wands charismatic and confident love queen of wands whole hearted and fearless love knight of wands flirty and open minded love page of wands daring and charming love daring and charming love now we are in the cups so the ace of cups on set and welcomed love two of cups emotional decision and union three of cups or uh, growing and cooperative love four of cups concerned and unconcerned love 
then five of cups aban abandoned and disengaged love six of cups responsible and adorable love seven of cups love quest and emotional needs eight of cups crossroads and emptiness nine of cups fulfilled and abundant love ten of cups domestic bliss and embracing love now we are in the court cards king of cups compassionate and wise love queen of cups a uh, devotional and matured love knight of cups attractive and dreamy love page of cups following heart and desiring love now we are in the pentacles the last suit so ace of pentacles grounded and secured love sorry for all the background noises two of pentacles or uh, decision making and balancing so it's something similar to the normal tarot but it's more towards emotion love relationship three of pentacles um uh, effortful and friendly love four of pentacles solid and self sufficient love five of pentacles or uh, disturbing and unproductive relationship six of pentacles generous and fair love seven of pentacles thoughtful and progressive love eight of pentacles dedicated and cultivated love nine of pentacles materialistic and thriving love it looks very vibrant and beautiful also right but even though they there are uh, normal human fe uh, faces so if people don't like that then yeah you can skip this card but otherwise it's really beautiful ten of pentacles steady and flourishing love now we are in the court cards the king of pentacles established and reliable love queen of pentacles consistent and kind love knight of pentacles efficient and realistic love okay so the last card is page of pentacles which is promising and secured love okay so those are the cards so i hope this video was very informative and you get an idea so as i told you if you want to purchase it you can go to my uh, uh playlist and search for this love and relationship oracle uh, sorry love and relationship tarot cards under the tarot and oracle cards review video and you can see the purchase link and the author and you know publishers details and everything i've explained in that video and you can purchase it on amazon so i think it's available only on amazon so or you can contact the uh, publisher directly and you can purchase it from there for a lesser price as well okay so yes that's about the video i hope it was very clear and informative for you guys and it was helpful so that's it if you like this uh, video please click on that like button and please subscribe to my channel bye take care stay safe